It looks and feels like summer and winter in the Sierra. KPIX 5's Emily Turner shows us there are plenty of bathing suits and skis at Squaw Valley. It's July 3rd. The weather is in the 80s. And yet today, some of the skiers say these were the longest lines they've seen all year. There was just as much brown as white on the slopes, but that didn't stop this crowd from spending their 4th of July holiday making runs on the snow that's left. Oh, it's great. A little, uh, little sticky now. It's kind of mashed potatoes afternoon. So, but since nine this morning, it's been great. And Squaw Valley is making the most of it. It's only the fourth time in history they've been open for July 4th, and the first time they'll try to stay open beyond that. You know, we really don't know what Mother Nature will bring us, and uh, we've had a great partnership with Mother Nature so far, and we're going to try and keep going with that. Um, if we can provide a safe, skiable surface long into the summer, we will. With three lifts and the terrain park open, plenty of skiers came to eke out a few more runs as well. Squaw says they've seen thousands of riders and skiers a day, many of them decked out in full festive attire. <laughs> prepared for their afternoon and getting the best of both worlds. So are you going to go down and enjoy the beach later? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got a brisket in the smoker right now, and uh, I'm going to go check on that baby, then hit the dock. In the Sierra, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.